The hip sling allows for supine transfers where hip flexure is not recommended. This sling extended from the head to the start of the knees. It keeps the person from bending at the waist, but they can still bend at the knees. Raise the bed rails on the person's bed. The sling should be positioned under the person by log rolling the person and positioning the sling so their hips are in the center of the sling near the center straps and the head is inside the sling. Ensure the logo, label, and handles are touching the surface of the bed or stretcher and not against the skin of the person. Move the lift to the person, making sure the nose of the boom is over the person's abdomen. Lower the lift boom enough to hook up the straps. Note, there are three attachment points on each side, head, middle, and leg. Attach the corresponding loops of the hip sling to the sling hangers on the hanger bar. On a ceiling lift, the loops of the middle strap can be placed on the rear hook of the sling hanger. On a mobile lift, the loops of the middle strap can be placed on the sling hanger bar. After ensuring that all loops are connected, raise the person slightly. Once there is tension on the loops, pause lifting and double check to make sure that the loops of all six straps are seated in the hooks. Continue to raise the person until they have cleared the surface. Note the knees will bend. Make sure to raise the person's feet, if needed, to help clear the surface. Maneuver the lift to complete the transfer, raising the feet, if needed, to clear the surface to which you are transferring the person. Lower the person to the surface to which you are transferring. Remove the straps from the lift, move lift away from the person, and log roll the person to remove the sling. Note, this sling is constructed of a heavier fabric and should not remain under a person after the transfer is completed.